Which one was it that you wanted again? That one. This one here? Yeah. Gerald Johnson is a self-professed big kid. <laughs> In the summer of 2007, he bought the ideal small business for his young at heart attitude, Arc Toys. But now he's facing very grown-up challenges. How to expand a business in the midst of a financial crisis. I love my product, what it's up. I mean, it's toys. Gerald Johnson and Arc Toys are a well-matched pair. The company sells classic toys at three stores in the San Francisco Bay Area. We have toys that you can't find at the big box marketers. That's why I exist, is because what we sell, you can't find anywhere else. When I walked in the door the first time, I was like, wow, this is it. The profits were right, the sales were right, it was priced right. This is probably one of my favorites. Johnson has owned the business for six months during a very shaky economy. How much was the overtime? Just a little bit less this pay period. It has affected our business, but it has encouraged me to double down on what I, my original business plan. An immediate goal for the company is to branch out into e-commerce, so the website essentially becomes another store. It's one way Arc Toys can grow without the overhead and investment of a bricks and mortar store. I want to have a website as well as uh, uh, intranet. The website before might have been gravy. Now it might be not as much gravy, but it'll also help balance out anything that you might lose in any one of your retail locations. Johnson's business plan also entails managing inventory more efficiently, which includes everything from ordering, receiving, and tracking to stocking shelves. You want to have enough toys for the, for the customers, but you don't want to be stuck because you overordered. You don't want to underorder. To strike that perfect balance, Arc Toys plans to automate their purchasing using IT. We had typically been using the software system as a glorified cash register. One of the things we're looking into doing is having an auto purchase order system um, helping us make these decisions, um, setting mins for the inventory. I'm an evil squirrel. With IT, Arc Toys should never run out of their extremely popular glitter balls. IT is also helping Johnson with his marketing, allowing him to identify and maintain a database of his most loyal patrons. Approximately 40% of our customers are frequent buyers. So we're trying to focus in on our best customers because they're, they're our most profitable customers. We're also getting additional information about those customers so we can be smarter in the future about how to attract those customers. Johnson has spent approximately $80,000 on IT, an investment he hopes will increase sales from roughly $3 million to $5 million a year. In order to leave something for my children, I have to make long-term decisions. Don't break anything. You gotta make good decisions, long-term decisions, and not short-sighted ones. Decisions that will help Arc Toys ride out the economic roller coaster and optimize operations. You got it. Hey, do me a favor, organize that for me. Get that nice and neat. For BNET, I'm Sumi Das. Thank you.